right, okay, back. Oh, and then we'll advance the clock at the end of her turn. It is now Carson Sinclair's turn. We will send him also to the outskirts. Either spend two stamina or advance the clock. I don't like spending the stamina. So we're going to take a chance and we're going to advance the clock, hitting our midnight effect. Haunter of the Dark says, add one Doom Token to the Doom Track unless an investigator discards one relic. We don't have any relics to discard. So we'll have to add a Doom Token to the Doom Track, and it's one of the Dark Pharaoh slots, which brings a Dark Pharaoh card whoop, into play face down. Let's make some room here. We'll put it there. This one on the back says, at midnight, add one Doom Token to the Doom Track. Now, since that came out after midnight started, we don't have to take that effect. It doesn't go off yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, no other at midnight effects. Okay. We draw a Mythos card. This one says, a friendly warning. Heed the warning. Each investigator discards all of his or her trophies and gains one clue. Ugh. Or hunger for power. One investigator loses three sanity and gains one spell. Ugh. Boy, I don't like either of those. All right. Well, let's go hunger for power. One investigator loses three sanity and gains one spell. That's going to be Carson because he's got the most. So he can lose his token of three and he gains a spell. And it is a flesh word allowing him to lock a die. <laughs> he has got plenty of dice locking ability over here. All right, so where were we? Oh yes, we're at the outskirts. We're about to flip the card. River of Fear, it is worth three trophies. It has an add midnight effect. Add one doom token to the doom track. Oh boy. All right, and the text says, Something nefarious slithered beneath the water's tenebrous surface. Never had I seen a moving river appear to be so still. I inched further away from the water's edge, wanting nothing to do with it. It locks one green die. Oh, boy. And its two tasks are a lore and a, or apparel and a terror or apparel. And the other one is a terror or a lore and a lore or apparel. So we'll bring our dice out. He is going to use his 38 revolver to try to shoot the thing in the water. Returning that to the common item deck, adding the yellow, the yellow die. Yeah, the yellow die. Whew, okay. And let's see, he rolled two terror, two peril, and some investigate. Let's see, he can do the top one. So peril there and peril there. Not crazy about that. The next one is a terror or a lore and a lore or a peril. And we rolled two lore and some investigate. Let's see. Let's spend a clue. We'll keep the lore. We'll roll the other two. And there's a lore. So Lore and Allure completes that task. His reward is another ally. He's really stacking up the allies here. And this is Professor Armitage. Place two spells on Professor Armitage when he joins you. You may use these spells as if they were your own. Oh boy. I'm running out of room up here. Okay, Professor Armitage gets two spells. The first one is Wither, which allows him to lock a die. <laughs> the second one is Find Gate. Discard to draw one Otherworld card and place it below the six adventure cards. Oh, I like that one. All right. He completed the adventure. We'll return the yellow there. Freeze up the one green locked die. He goes back to the entrance sheet. And he gains three more. Tro oh, I forgot the rest of his. He gets one stamina and one sanity back as part of his reward. And three more trophies for him. And we'll 
refill yet again with Ill Omens. At midnight, add one Doom token to the Doom track unless an investigator discards one relic. We now have three At Midnight effects in play. We're going to have to clear those off. Okay, and then we advance the clock because that was the end of his turn. We're now at Agatha's turn, and she is... Well, she's at two sanity and five... Five? How is she at five? She should only be at four stamina. <laughs> Somehow she gained an extra one. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, and I've been forgetting her paranormal sense of each time she loses a sanity, she gains a clue. Oh, gosh, let's see. Should we send her off to do something, or why don't we... We gain two sanity or two stamina. She is going to spend two trophies to regain two sanity. Let's her gear up a little bit for her, and there's her two trophies for her next adventure. And that's the end of her turn. We will advance the clock. Back to Carson Sinclair. Carson Sinclair, what should we send you? You are not looking much better, buddy. He will also spend two trophies to regain two of his sanity. And let's see, what are we doing here? Okay. There we are. Now yeah, he's feeling a little better. And that was his turn. We'll advance the clock again. Well, now I think Agatha is ready to tackle this Dark Pharaoh card because we're one click away from midnight. So we'd better send her there. And again, the add midnight effect was add one doom token to the doom track. This is Form of the Serpent. Again, these are not worth any trophies at all, and this is going to lock the red die. The text says, A smoldering serpentine creature of fire slithered forth from where it once stood. It pursued us through the winding tunnels for what felt like hours. Before turning its attention elsewhere, I feared whatever might have drawn the attention of such an unholy beast. Locks the red die. It has two tasks. Again, there's an arrow denoting top-down. The first one is a terror or a peril and a lore. The second one is going to be three investigate and a lore. So let's go ahead and bring these out. We will use the 45 automatic common item to add the yellow die. Oh, we have one cocked. There we go. And, oh, a lot of lore and investigate. Oh, boy. I don't like this. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead, and we're going to use the voice of Ra. She's been sitting on this spell for some time. After rolling, discard to change one die to the result of your choice. We'll return that to the bottom of the spell deck. We will take one lore, and we will change one of these other lore to apparel, completing the first task. Second one is three investigate and a lore. Roll for that again. And of course, it's a lot of investigate and two terror. Tell you what, let's keep the four investigate. We'll spend a clue to reroll the other three dice. And a bunch of investigate. So we have a two and a one. Oh, we kept, we don't need it. We need a lore. So we'll have to remove one die, roll the other two, investigate and investigate. We'll remove one. We've been doing good so far, but I think this is where we finally have a difficult time. And she rolled an investigate. Oh, I left that one up there during the roll. We're gonna we'll say she focused it. That was my mistake. That returns up there. Those return there. She failed it. So. She is going to suffer two sanity. Well, I'm glad I refilled her, otherwise she'd be crazy now. And we put one doom token on the doom track. <clears throat> this next slot is, again, a Dark Pharaoh slot. So there's the second Dark Pharaoh adventure card out. And this one is at midnight, add one doom token to the doom track. Oh boy, that didn't help 
us. <sighs> At all. Okay. The red die remains locked. She is going to stay there at the form of the Surf and Adventure card, and we advance the clock to midnight. Oh boy. All right, so Haunter of the Dark, his at midnight effect goes off. We do not have a relic to discard, so we will add a Doom token to the Doom track. It is a regular slot, so that's all it does. We will go to this Ill Omens card. It says add midnight, add one Doom token to the Doom track, unless an investigator discards one relic. Again, we have no relics to discard. So we'll add one Doom token to the Doom track. This is a monster slot. So we reach into Crochet Thulu's head and draw a monster token. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, it's two investigate and you lose one sanity and one stamina and let's put it on one of the easy like the temple district we'll drop it right there there's no monster slots available on that one okay then we have the other one down here at midnight add one doom token to the doom track oh boy this guy is going to wake up and it is the third dark pharaoh adventure card slot so let's see we're gonna squeeze this one right over here Three of the four are out. If we get the fourth one out, the Doom track, it's only one away, but it'll fill right up and we'll have to fight that bad guy. Wow, we are in really bad shape. All of these on the back say, add midnight, add one Doom token to the Doom track. We are one token away on the Doom track from battling the Haunter of the Dark. Whew, man. Okay, well, that was the end of her turn. So let's see. It is now Carson Sinclair's turn and we have not seen a single elder sign yet. This is not good. 